It's another Wellness Wednesday, and Betsy is back to share some fitness tips. Welcome back. Thanks to FAC for sponsoring. So what are we doing today? Today we are going to talk about core. Yay. Core! Everybody's That's a four-letter word, isn't it? It's a four-letter word. <laughs> it is a four-letter word. When people think about the core, yes. they really only think about their abs. That's right. That yeah. six-pack yeah. right there. And yes, that is part of it, but your core is actually all of the muscles that wrap from your shoulders around your glutes and into your hips. Anything okay. that stabilizes oh. so it's more your like pelvis here. and your spine. Okay. Okay. So your core is what keeps you upright and your body is bound and determined to keep you upright That's important. at all times. Yeah. So we want to have a strong core and it's not about the six pack. That's just a fun little advantage yeah. to having okay. a, a strong That's core. That's a bonus. But you don't have to have a six pack to have a strong That's a core. That's a bonus I can't relate yeah, to. I can't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> and you don't even actually have to hit the floor to do any of this stuff, even though uh, you know most people think of floor as their core Conscious. work. The place okay. that you go to right. exercise yeah. the floor. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to do some standing core work. The first thing we're gonna do, we have our little resistance bands here. Yep. Now, you're gonna just gonna fold that resistance band in half. You're gonna put it under one of your feet. You have several options. So if you have a stronger band and you need to release some of the tension there, you're just gonna drop the inside handle. You always want it to be the inside handle because you're pulling Mm. It, and you don't okay. want it to come jumping across your yeah. foot, right? right. Um, or if you're holding on to both handles, I want you to hold on to the fabric because that's actually Ooh. going to give you a more stable position. Okay. okay. So anytime we're coming up and across the body, I want you to feel how everything has to tighten as we come across. Certainly. How many times throughout your day are you picking up something over here and you're setting it over, it over there? Throwing it over your shoulder. Throwing it over your shoulder like a continental soldier. Um, sorry, <laughs> going on. Um, or getting your groceries or your right. backpack out of the car and throwing that mm -hmm. over your shoulder. For you, okay. uh, picking Ollie up, right? Picking just Ollie up. Throwing him up in the and air. And just yeah. throwing him, tossing him. So we've got just across, okay. but you can also come up tall and you can work side to side. Friends, even if you take this a little bit lower, you can still get all of that core work, mm. but take some off of your shoulders. Okay. We're gonna take this out from under our foot. Okay. Fold it in half still, okay? So now you're gonna pull out oh, against it, and we're just gonna come up and across with our knee. So now bicycle crunches, you're just doing them standing. Okay. Okay. We are getting some shoulder work, yeah. but we're also working our core top, bottom, rotational movements, all of it. You can do something as simple as, hand you that one. Thank you. Okay. Hand you that one. Sure. You're just going to take it around your body. Like this? Yeah. Okay, I've done this before. Yes. Yeah, so ah. this is just called around the world. Now the goal is to keep did your you come hips up with that? forward. Totally <laughs> did. <laughs> your goal is to keep your hips forward, your okay. shoulders relatively still, so that all of that stabilization has to work as you take it around. If you go one way, you've got to go to the other. Right. Then you can also do one called a figure eight, take your feet wider, and it's like you're dribbling that basketball sure. through your okay. legs. Yes. You're just passing yeah. through your legs. Again, do that one. And we're working work the stabilization working of core? the pelvis and the spine. Everything, huh. all that, all of this works your core. You think, okay, I'm down in a squat. I'm working my glutes and my hamstrings. You are, but by shifting weight from side to side, all of the muscles that are working are ones that stabilize, stabilize. your pelvis oh. and your core. You're stabilizing yourself. So you're obviously a personal trainer there at FAC. What's going on right now in this kind of cooler weather season there at FAC? As everything starts to cool down, things ramp up inside. We've got the fall basketball league going on. Yeah. We're about to have our Les Mills launch this weekend. Um, that's just when everybody gets excited because we have new music, new moves, all sorts of new things within our classes. Of course, personal training starts to pick up this time of year because everybody's right. coming in. Yep. You can come in and hit spin classes, bar classes, anything you want to do there. We've got the sauna. The pool got covered up so that you Ooh. can continue to swim your lap. Great. In comfort, heated pool, heated yep. surround. Yep. It's fantastic. Thank you like for filling us in. You yes, see how you can thanks. reach out to the pros right there at Fayetteville Athletic Club. Betsy, as always, thank you for joining us for our Wellness Wednesday.